So, fourth week of Michigan quarantine. Yeah. So, let's try to entertain ourselves. I'm going to teach you a little bit about uh, why I enjoy wearing a kilt, what a kilt is all about, and I am going to review a couple of my favorite comic books, uh, and I want to share that with you. So, let me grab a cup of coffee, enjoy the intro, and we'll talk to you in a minute. <laughs> talk a little bit about kilts. Did you know that the kilt has been around since before the 16th century? And historians believe that the Vikings and Norris people actually brought it uh, to the British Isle. And the Scotsmen adopted it and they used it. Uh, not only it was pretty much a full body um, uh, fabric, they would actually use it as a hood as well. Of course, Scottish men have been wearing kilts, as you know. I didn't know if you knew that the Welsh, also Irish, uh, wear kilts as well. And my father was from Wales. He didn't wear a kilt, but I know that uh, a lot of the historians and a lot of the ancestors, I'm sure my family did. Um, I love them. I think that they're great. Um, I belong to the Kiltman Coalition, which I'm going to teach you a little bit more about that today. And I'm going to teach you a little bit about uh, what uh, actually goes uh, along with the kilt so that you maybe might want to take it up yourself. So let's get started. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go over my parts, my kilt parts. I'm going to point to them and then I'm going to put a text there so you guys know how to spell it so when you guys are ready to do this, you can get your kilt on. All right, okay, so we're going to start out. So hopefully that gets you going. Now let's talk a little bit about the Kiltman Coalition. So the Kiltman Coalition is a group of uh, gentlemen that I have had the fortune of meeting uh, over the course of my life. It's kind of a kilt gang if you want to call it that. So um, we stood up in uh, my good friend uh, Pete's wedding and we all decided to uh, get the tartan that uh, was from Pete's family, the Campbell tartan. Tartan is basically a badge, a fabric badge of honor for families. Each family has a certain color pattern that you wear in the kilt. And mine's, uh, Davies is very, very close to what, uh, what Pete's family's is. So that was kind of cool. In any case, uh, I'll share some pictures here. about the camaraderie uh, with the group. Uh, we wanted to start um, an awareness uh, of, of kilt culture, uh, so to speak, and there's so many different things uh, that are available now as far as um, different uh, kilt factions and uh, kilt dress as far as the fashion goes. 
there's just so much out there and I would definitely uh, have you check it out if it's something that uh, you're interested in. A lot of fun, um, like I said, it's camaraderie. Whenever we get together as a group, we all wear our kilts, and I do recommend that you check it out on Facebook, uh, the Kiltman Coalition. The guys are great, and uh, yeah, check it out. One of the other things that I wanted to talk about today was um, some of my comic books, some of my favorite comic books that uh, I have enjoyed um, finding, uh, collecting, and uh, I want to share them with you. So, all of you know that I'm a big fan of Mike Mignola. I'm sure that uh, once you see my art page or see my videos and see my style, it, it takes a lot of cues from Mike as far as um, a lot of contrast, blacks uh, on, on bright colors or on whites. Uh, and that's just my style. I've, I've, um, I've, as a child, I learned a lot about uh, El Greco, the painter, and I studied a lot of uh, different fine arts as far as abstract art. And it just really, the contrast really intrigued me as an artist. And one of the things that we found um, last year was uh, Mike Mignola did some work back in the 90s, and I think you guys might know of the book, or excuse me, of the movie. Uh, that Francis Ford Coppola put out, um, Dracula, and I found the comic book uh, collection that uh, that they also offered um, for that um, movie, and it was awesome. Anyway, the movie's great. I'm sure that if you've seen it, you'll agree. Um, last year, my wife uh, was kind enough um, to purchase these for me at course John Cashman's place in Bay City Cashman's comics um, I'm not gonna open them up because I'm, I'm kind of a snob when it comes to collecting and these are just pristine um, I do recommend that you check them out digitally uh, online um, they're made by uh, or they were they were published by tops comics which I thought was kind of neat I'm big uh, or I was a big fan of uh, tops uh, baseball cards when I was growing up as a kid uh, and yeah, so one through four is here. Um, and I, I just absolutely adore uh, this selection. It's just the colors are amazing, the artwork's phenomenal. And there's a lot of good YouTube, um, not documentaries, but film on uh, Mike and what he, Mike Mignola, did with Francis Ford Coppola to bring that, um, that film to life. Um, a lot of different uh, drawing. Um, uh, set design everything and in the, throughout the movie once you see Mike's work uh, in, in with Hellboy and everything else you can go back and look at Francis Ford Coppola's movie it's it's pretty awesome you'll see a lot of different things that uh, Mike has uh, uh, in that movie uh, as far as set design and just the overall feel of the movie it's just it's a really really good marriage of of both uh, Magnolia and uh, and uh, Frank and uh, Coppola's work so. One of the other books um, I really, uh, I really, really enjoyed, and actually, this is the book that, uh, this is the book that got um, Mike noticed um, to actually do the Dracula uh, series, if I'm not mistaken. Gotham by Gaslight. Uh, again, I got it at uh, John Cashman's. Um, Dan Brandt was uh, fantastic because he found it for me. Um, but in any case. Um, Gotham by Gaslight, another fantastic Mike Mignola book. Again, I'm not going to open it because it's uh, I've got it all uh, in pristine fashion here. So check it out digitally if you can. If you can get a copy of this one, do it. Uh, it's been out of print for a while, but I, it's just an awesome book. Uh, yeah, fantastic. And besides Hellboy, um, one of the best books I think that Mike Mignola has ever done uh, storyline as well as uh, just overall artwork is the amazing screw on head it's everything that you would want in a comic book um, and a standalone at that I think that probably um, out of all my collection this storyline is I think one of the most creative and I really want to say Mike uh, Mike hats off to you because that was that was probably one of the best books that uh, that at least the one-offs that I've ever read. Um, so in any case, let's recap. So the Dracula series, I recommend that you haven't seen the movie, which you should have anyway. Everybody should have that movie in their collection. Um, yeah, I think it was the early 90s when it came out. Uh, these ones were 93, I think 92 when this came out. 
fantastic Dracula series. If you can find them, get them because they're they're definitely a collector's item. Uh, the Gas or Gotham by Gaslight Batman series, fantastic. Mike Mignola just did a great job on this. It's a classic, and I def definitely recommend it. And finally, last but not least, The Amazing Screw-On Head by Mike Mignola. Fantastic story, fantastic art. Um, it's historical, it's it, it's uh, comedic, it's just great. And I do recommend that uh, you check it out. I hope that you enjoyed this uh, session on YouTube this uh, week. So, um, Two of the things that I really enjoy are kilts and comics. One thing about kilts that's uh, great is they're extremely comfortable. I can't say it enough. Um, and you know, you got to be pretty secure in yourself to be wearing a kilt out in public, uh, I have to say. Um, and I don't do it often enough, I don't think, but maybe we'll, maybe we'll get there soon. So, Well, listen, much success uh, in 2020. Stay safe. Stay home. Um, make sure that you are staying healthy. No envy, no fear. If you like this, please subscribe and get on all my social media. That would be great. I would love to see uh, comments and um, your artwork if you got it. And uh, we will talk to you soon. Have a great week.